Hey guys, it's me, Emma. Um, today I have a special guest, Avery. Yeah, that's her name. And today we're gonna be making a miniature Japanese food set. We're gonna be making miniature donuts. And they're edible, so let's get started. So this is what the box looks like up close. As you can see, there's these really cute donuts. Um, and if you look on the side, there's different ideas for the donuts you can decorate, like different decorating ideas and Japanese advertisement. <laughs> um, more donut ideas. And then on the back, it shows you instructions, but as you can see, they're all in Japanese, but it does show you pictures for what to do and what's included in the box. So that is what the box looks like. So this is what it looks like. There's a cutout and there are doilies and other ideas for what to put and decorate on your donuts. So I'm just gonna cut the plastic now. Make sure not to cut through the little cutout here. And gotta get that left. So, this is what it comes with. It comes with a chocolate donut mix, a vanilla donut mix, well, a white don powder donut mix, I guess. Some sprinkles. Um, I think this is the pink frosting. I'm not sure. Um, I think this is the chocolate frosting. And not sure what that is. Uh, well, and it comes with this purple packet and this little plastic bag that you put the icing in when you squeeze it out onto the donut. And last but not least, a little shovel to mix everything with and these donut molds and mixing trays. So yeah. Next, you need to cut out all the different containers. That's meant for water. This is the water scooper. So you're gonna um, take three cups of water and pour it into this container. So three cups, well, three little scoops. Okay. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna take your yellow package, which is going to be the white dough. And you can go ahead Cut it open and then pour it into the container that has the water in it. So I'm just going to pour all that in. Now I'm going to take my little mixing shovel and just start mixing it around. So this is what the dough looks like after you kind of mix it up and stir it after a couple of minutes. So. Okay, so when you're done with your dough, you can just set it aside on a plate. Now, wash the container out and then add about three more cups of water. Now I'm gonna take the bigger brown packet and cut it open. and it's chocolate. And I'm just going to pour that in. Alrighty, and now we're just going to start mixing. Okay, now I'm going to take my smaller brown packet, which is going to be the chocolate icing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that open. And I'm going to pour it into the same container again. Okay, then I'm going to take my little measuring cup dude right here and um, only take one cup of water this time. And then I'm gonna pour it in. 
and then just start mixing them with my little shovel again. So, little spoon slash shovel. So yeah. Okay, so my chocolate icing here is done. And now I'm gonna take the little bag that comes with the set and fold it over so I'm putting the icing in. It doesn't get all over the bag. So. There we go. And then I'm just gonna spoon in my icing. Be careful so you don't get it all over the bag. Now I am just going to put up the edges again and set that to the side. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my blue and red powder. I'm choosing to start out with red, and I'm going to take the um, two containers, and I'm going to add one cup of water to each. Now I'm going to cut off the edge, well, the corner of the red one, and pour it in. going to stir the powder in with the water very carefully. Okay, so now I'm going to take my small blue packet and I'm going to cut this side of it. to pour it in the water. And now I'm going to mix it together very, very delicately. Okay, now I'm gonna split my vanilla dough in half, which is pretty much is all crumbly anyway, so I'll just take half of it. <laughs> and I'm going to put it I'm deciding to put it into this mold and really compact it down there so it doesn't get any air bubbles in it or anything and get it into every little crack and crevice. After that, I'm just gonna take the other half of my mold and squish it down into the left mold. Okay, now that I've put the dough in my mold, I'm going to put this in the microwave for 20 seconds. So now my, I just took out my little donuts. So now I'm gonna use this toothpick and kind of push them out because they're very fragile. It's going to do the same exact thing with the chocolate. Now we're gonna cut out um, the little cutouts that they have for us. Okay, so here is our finished project product. <laughs> um, we made four donuts with all the icings and it came with sprinkles and we added sprinkles to them. And then this little, we folded this little cutout on the box that makes a little donut box that can hold your donuts. So. Okay, so we are going to taste test our donuts and tell you what we think of them. So yeah, let's get started. So this is what they look like. Which one will you be trying? This one. Okay. <laughs> so here you go. I will be trying this one, and Avery will be trying this one. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hmm. They're really, pretty good. Yeah. They're really chewy though. It's kind of weird. They're like gelatin sort of. They kind of taste like you're chewing up gummy bears. It's yeah. kind of weird, but good at the same time. Yeah. And the pink frosting, which is strawberry frosting, is actually pretty good. I really like it. Thanks. You. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for watching. <laughs> Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye now.